In this, the last week before Canadians head to the polls in the federal election, we are being inundated with messages about tax cuts. I know you've heard them on TV commercials, seen them on lawn signs in your neighborhood. Let me be very clear. Our job is not to tell you how to vote. That's your choice. Our job is to protect public health care for all Canadians under the principles of the Canada Health Act. That means ensuring access for health care that you need when you need it. It means protecting Canadians against user fees, particularly those being charged by private clinics when you go in for medical care. And I'm concerned. The proposed tax cuts are mainly to be paid for through cuts to health care and old age security. The Parliamentary Budget Office warns that the federal government's uh, health care cuts will mean that the provinces will bear more of the burden of paying for health care even when they can't afford it. The Parliamentary Budget Office warns, in fact, that the provinces will have no choice but to cut health care services as a result of the federal government's cuts. The provinces and territories have calculated that the federal government's planned cuts amount to $36 billion. So consider this. Most families, that is 60% of income earning families from the middle class on down will only see $50 a year from the Harper government's planned uh, income splitting tax cut. The wealthiest families will see up to $2,000 a year from that tax cut. But if the federal government continues to ignore the Canada Health Act and continues to turn a blind eye to private clinics that are charging patients user fees in violation of the Canada Health Act, then most people will be charged at least $100, sometimes $200, up to $1,500 or $2,000 or more when you go in for your cataract surgeries as you age. Um, in fact, if the provinces do not get adequate funding for health care, then they won't be able to bring more nursing home beds into operation. Already there are 30,000 Canadians on wait lists for nursing home beds and costs for a family to pay for those spaces can be up to $30,000 or even more per year. That far more than eats up even the tax cuts um, that are proposed for the very wealthiest. In fact, $50 could only buy you about two hours of home care. Please think about it. Please vote and please make the future of health care part of how you vote on Monday. Thank you.